Christina Klassen. I'm the Marketing and Public Relations Manager here, so I help to promote and get the word out about what's happening at the Watka Museum. Right now, we are in the Lycatcher building. It is our Silver LEED certified building, which means it upholds high environmental standards. It has a living roof. It has water catchment system. We use gray water in the bathroom toilets. Um, we have passive light through our light wall and other environmental features. It also has climate control galleries where our fine art exhibits are located. And we'll be opening a new exhibit called Bellingham National Juried Art Exhibition and Awards. It's a juried exhibit that has a theme of landscape art and various interpretations of it. So we'll be opening that in the lower light catcher galleries. We also have a permanent exhibit on the second level gallery of the light catcher called People of the Sea and Cedar, and that features art and culture of the Northwest Coast people. And that is an ongoing exhibit that people can see. And we also will have this summer a modern quilt exhibit that we're very excited about that will be in the downstairs gallery after Bellingham National closes. The Watka Museum is actually a three building campus, although two of them are our primary public buildings. Uh, Old City Hall is the 1892 Victorian building with our historic exhibits. And then we have next door to that, the Syrie Education Center, which is a historic firehouse from the 1920s. That houses our photo archives office where people can come in during open hours and do research and look at our photo archives. Old City Hall also has a variety of exhibitions that people can see. We have the John M. Edson Hall of Birds. We also have a maritime gallery. We have an orientation theater where people can learn about the history of Bellingham and how it got started, and a few other smaller galleries with blogging and local history. The Watka Museum has been pretty integral to cultural heritage and the arts world in this community. Uh, having been here for more than 75 years, we've been a real presence to that. And our iconic old city hall building is just a standout building. That in itself has been really important to the image of Bellingham and uh, when people talk about Bellingham and what it means and an iconic place to them, they often refer to our old city hall building. Personally, I really love the Watka Museum because it brings in such a wide variety of art and culture and local heritage. So you can come here and find a little bit of everything. So if you visit with your family, as I often will bring people, guests from out of town, um, if people like history, we have the old city hall building and there's plenty of local history. If people like fine art, we have a great selection of rotating exhibits on fine art. And if you have small children, there's the family interactive gallery where kids can learn through play. And so just that multifaceted approach to bringing culture and art to the community is what I value most about the Watka Museum.